So, ha today it's the seventh day of Christmas. What's and what's the review this time? Well, what does my true love send to me? Well, love actually. It, yeah, I didn't really think of anything better to describe to say, but you know what? Well, let's just get started. So, this 2003 Christmas um, comedy is was written by Richard Curtis, and well, written and directed by him. Who also did um, Four Wings and a Funeral, and I mean, just look at these A-list um, British talents. I mean, I'm just going to read out who is listed on the front cover: Hugh Grant, Lee, Liam Neeson, Colin Firth, Emma Thompson, Alan Rickman, Kira Knightley, Bill Knight, Knight Knightley, Rowan Atkinson, with uh, Martin Freeman, Shitwell, um, whatever his Shitwells and. Um, uh, and jeez, I, I can't pronounce his, his name, but he, he's in it too. Yeah, so this is a what is this is a definite classic. In fact, just recently I did it before the flick on this. So what can I describe this? Well, think Pulp Fiction, but Christmas. Uh, that's probably not the best way to describe this, but you have many different stories that are somehow interlinked with each other. All set around Christmas in Britain, and well, that's you know what you what you basically get. And I will admit it's it works for what it is. It's a good um, just I love when we get um, stories like this when they're inter when we have interlinked stories because that it kind of helps you go back and forth between watching it again see what things sort of link up with me. With each other and that it's 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 kind of smart and I like films like that. The humor works. I mean, every one of these guys in this ha are really are known to get have some really funny performances, but also really serious performances as well. Though some would be more serious down the track compared to being more funny in the past. But you know, um, and the acting. I mean. <laughs> All those actors, they're, they're some of the greatest actors from, from England and the UK. And, you know, watching this mm, does make you feel bittersweet that Alan Rickman's no longer around. I, I should note, no, there's also a... In 2017, they did a, a sequel film, a sequel television made-for-TV film called Red Nose Day, actually. They got most of the guys to come back. Obviously, Rickman will was dead so he didn't return. Neither did Emma Thompson because her story is linked with Rickman's. Um, so and well I haven't seen it yet because it, it is eventually on my on the down the track. So who knows? Maybe maybe next year Red Nose Day review? Maybe. Yeah maybe I just bit myself in the tongue and I have to now do it. <laughs> but well um but in the end uh, I still really do I, I have problems with this? I mean, uh, let's be fair. I mean, I like story. Well, I don't think every story gets the, the right amount of screen time as certain others. It, it can be seen that way, and and it's and it's hard to relate with some of these characters. I mean, uh, my favorite scene obviously involves Ron Atkinson as he prepares a gift for Rickman, for Rickman's character who is actually named Harry. <laughs> Plus, but you know. Axon doesn't really get as much screen time as I hear he does in the Red Nose Day film. Um, and I think soon you can kind of, I just wish more characters got into linked and that and and got more screen time. And I, I hear that the, and the music a uh, bit bland. But you know, overall, it's still a Christmas classic. I mean, especially it's grown over the years. I mean, it, I hear this was a box office bomb when it was first released. Um, I think it was because it was, you know, I don't know when it was, what, what movie it was in competition with, but it's grown and grown and become a Christmas classic, and critics have sort of changed their minds. Before, originally they were mixed, now they're more positive. I'm, po I'm sort of in where they first began, so I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10 hat stars. I think it's good. 
But I think, in my eyes, repair viewings is what will get make this a better film for most people. And I think that's how it works with everyone. So what's next? Um, well, last year well, I took a look at something a little bit different as my penultimate review. Um, and well, this year it's time I do something similar, but for the leading equivalent of children's entertainment. Or children's music entertainment. And I think you know what I'm going to go with, but it's not the original, it's something I start off with. In the meantime, House of Mouse Reviews is out, and I'll see you for the eighth day of Christmas. Ciao.